Snow didn't arrive in time for a white Christmas, but it's here today with even more on the way. What has fallen so far is creating a challenge for some drivers across Kelloland, with various reports coming in of cars going into the ditch. For an update on road conditions, we go to Kelloland Dan Santella, who is near Interstate 29. So, Dan, what are you seeing out there? Well, Tori, I'm on. I'm Brady, I'm on Interstate I-29 here in between the Madison exit and the Russell exit, the pedestrian bridge here at Southeast Technical Institute. The conditions we were commenting as we drove over really weren't that bad. We started to slow down, drive slower than usual, and just as we were pulling into this parking lot, caught a slight slick spot. It's cold, it's wet, the air is really wet, right? And kind of windy too. Tried to put up an umbrella, that didn't go so well. So you're really feeling it, and the rain, as I look into the camera here, you can see it going vertically uh, in front of me. So if you pull, we're gonna pull up a graphic for you right now, a great resource, if you haven't already downloaded it, is our Kelloland Storm Tracker app for smartphones and tablets. You're gonna have access to our live radars, have updated forecasts, any weather alerts in your area, and it's free for Apple and Android devices. Conditions not so awful right now in Sioux Falls. Not surprising though, I talked to a South Dakota Highway Patrol trooper at our station about uh, two hours ago, and he said he's seeing a wide differences in conditions across the state. Okay in some spots, not so great in others. We're gonna continue to monitor these conditions for you. I'll have another live report for you at the top of the six o'clock newscast. Reporting live in Northwest Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News.